early mornings and one thing i've loved about lockdown is the fact that there's been an opportunity to learn a whole lot of new skills right so today i'm going to learn how to juggle not one ball not two balls but three balls and we'll see how it goes in this video we are going to teach you how to juggle three balls my name is Josh Horton. I'm a gold medalist in the World Championships of Juggling. I'm a 12-time Guinness World Record holder, been featured on many TV shows, so I believe I'm qualified to teach you how to do this. It's been on Ellen's show? So I believe I'm qualified to teach you how to wow. do this. Wow. My... Hey, what's up? It is Jude from Big from Five Drive. Today, I am watching a tutorial on how to juggle. There's a guy in my complex who I see in his garden juggle every single day. And I just feel like after this tutorial, I'm gonna now be the one stepping outside and showing him what I've got. Let's do this. I'm super competitive, so um, hopefully I can do this. <laughs> Step number one, you need something to juggle. If you don't have juggling balls, hacky sacks are great. Uh, tennis balls are okay, but they bounce all over the place. Rolled socks work. Find socks. Socks, I've moved house recently, so I can't find tennis balls, but I have socks. I'm using a Nachi, you could use socks, apparently, or anything that's round. I don't have balls. Um, I have potatoes. This is what I'm going to be using. Let's just get rid of all three balls. Just work on body position. So your feet are shoulder width apart, your arms are at your sides, your elbows, Nice and tight against your body. Elbows against your body. It's all about how you position your body and apparently your arms need to be right here. Hands. <laughs> your hands have to be in one place and then you have to bend your knees a little bit. So be in a nice comfy position. Slight knee bend. A lot of people think juggling happens over here. This is in the cartoons, it's always here. That's not how you really juggle. And not all over the place. Because what a lot of people assume is that your hands are just moving around. That's how you actually mess it up. And then you need to grab your balls. Let me do that. So with one ball, just work on that body position and then throwing from right to left and left to right. The throw should be the same height from both your right and your left hand. It should be about heads level. You don't want it really high. You don't want it really low. <laughs> You'll start with one ball. Oh, wait, just one. Okay. This guy thinks we're amateurs. One ball. <laughs> Don't forget to position your hands properly and then just basically see I'm moving my arms. They're not supposed to move like that. They're just supposed to remain. Hey, 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 hey. I don't think I'm doing it right. So you kind of keep juggling. One ball. Right to left, left to right, right to left. Left to right. So I say it's a nachi or an orange. What is this? I think it's a nachi. Yeah, it's a nachi. I mean, that's kind of... It's kind of simple, right? So, you keep practicing with one ball, which is really, obviously, <laughs> pretty easy. You want the ball to be on the same plane the entire time. Oh. So you don't want the ball to be going away from you and coming back, which is a big problem. One ball. Keep it in line, so you can stay in the same line. It mustn't go there and there like that. Who can't do that? And also, you shouldn't move your head around the knot. Lines right here in post. So you don't want the ball to be. Let's see on side angle. Hey, hey. I got the sun in my face. I think I'm doing quite well so far, right? Bam, bam, bam. The guy I mentioned in my complex that travels every single day. I'm feeling so ready for him. I'm always just like staring at him, fascinated. Now I can stop staring and just get out and like be weird and start juggling as well and hope he notices me. <laughs> Let's uh, carry on. All right, if that is easy for you, you are ready for two balls. Hell, hell, two balls. Two pairs of socks. Two balls. You grab your second ball. This is where we start to lose a lot of people. People think this is how you juggle two balls. You only throw the second ball when the first one has reached a certain height. Just don't do this. Just stop it, get it out of your brain now, and never do it again. This is not juggling. I know it looks like juggling, but it needs to be like that. So, maybe I should move it out. Get it on the slot and go on. Okay, maybe don't do that. What you're going to do with two balls is prepare yourself for three. And so you're going to do the same throw we did to your right hand and your left, but you're going to do it alternatingly with both balls. So it's going to be right, left, catch, catch. 
Okay, wait, okay. <laughs> right, right. Uh, oh my gosh, I've forgotten it already. It's right, left, right, catch, left, catch, catch, casual, casual. Right, left. Okay, that was terrible. But make sure they're all in the same plane and you're keeping in the same height. Hey, hey, hey. I'm moving this potato to my other hand so I can catch with this hand, but without throwing it. I'm an idiot. You know what? I think using <laughs> small balls. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine using um, big balls. What? <sighs> Shit. I think I've, I've hit my first hurdle. Look at me go, look at me go. Woo As the first ball reaches its peak is when you throw the next one. So once it starts moving from up to down is when you throw the next one. So As it reaches the peak, throw the next one. Yeah, right. Ah! These potatoes are not going to be good to eat <laughs> after this. So it makes an X in the air. Hup, 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 I'm making an X, Josh. A big X for you. Damn it! You should hear the timing should be even the whole time. So it should be ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Woo! Ha, ha! How you like that, Josh? I'm gonna be doing video tutorials soon, showing people how to do this. It starts getting tricky. You need to be able to do this the other way. So I. Start with my rides because I'm right handed, but if I'm going to introduce the third ball. Oh, oh. <laughs> Calm down. Woosa, woosa. Once it is easy for both hands, try alternating. It doesn't need to be fast, you're not juggling yet. You're just working on getting it from both sides and switching. So it's right, left, catch, catch, left, right, catch, catch. Uh, 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 uh. Right, left, catch, catch. I need to be able to do it the other way. How am I doing? Right, left, catch, catch. Left, right, catch, catch. Now you see. I gotta keep tucking my socks back in because they keep coming out. My elbows are here. Relax. That's not too good at all. For someone who is right handed. My right hand gets stuck if I go left hand first, okay. Right, left, <laughs> right, left, catch, catch. Ah! Please cut all of this out. I'm throwing it too high. Remember when they said um, don't use tennis balls because they bounce around a lot? They should add potatoes uh, to that list. See if you can do this 10 times in a row, alternating which hand you start with. Do not pick up a third ball until you can do this very easily from both sides. 10 in a row should be no problem. 10 in a row. Okay. Not left, cat. No. Okay. I can't not look at the potatoes. I can't not look at it. Left, right, catch, catch. Man. Yeah. Right, left, catch, catch. Left, right, catch, catch. Right, left, catch, catch. Left, right, catch, catch. Have I nailed it? Yes, I have. Let's call it comfortable. Grab that third ball. Woo! So now you're going to do exactly Woo! Bring out the big right guns. <laughs> this time to bring in the third one. This one's for the pros. So now you're going to do exactly what we just did. We'll start again with your right hand. So the same right, left, catch, catch. But before the second ball comes down, you're gonna make one more right-handed throw. So right, left, right, catch. Right, left, right, catch. Right, left, right, catch. Right, left, right, catch. So the trick is to make sure you always have two balls in your hand. Right, left, right, catch. Right, left, right, oh, no. <laughs> There's so many things to actually remember. Right, 
tight left right catch. Did I do it? I think I just juggled. I just juggled. End of tutorial. Who needs to watch any more of this? I think I just juggled. You know when um, when something is on the tip of your tongue and you just don't know how to say it. This is on the tip of my fingertips, but I don't know how to do it. You have to release that one before it comes down. So you're never gonna have two balls in one hand, except for when you start and when you finish. Did he just say you never wanna have two balls in one hand? So once the other one's in the air, you start getting ready for the other one. I think I'm doing this wrong because I'm gonna be cutting in two balls at the moment. Woo! Close. Right, left, right, catch. Hey! Right, left, right, catch. Woo! And keep in mind the body position, your elbows in. If your arms are out here, you're gonna, you're gonna make a different throw every time. If they're here, you're gonna make the same throw. So don't forget your position and the arms and yo. Put that in slow-mo. We need to see that in slow-mo. Watch the slow-mo. Right, left, catch, catch. Woo! I'm not gonna have a slow motion. If it is a slow motion, it's gonna look like I failed. Okay, if it is easy for your right hands, try putting two in your left and doing the same thing. Left, right, left, catch. And remember how we practiced to do it the other way around? That was the whole point, because you need to actually bring the other one that way at some point. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> that's not easy. I feel like I'm still handling three balls, so that's what matters, right? I think I got this. Don't you? How many times have I done that? I've done that a few times now, right? So three catches, that is a flash. Practice this flash as much as you can. You should be able to do this 10, 20, 30 times in a row. So he says that's called a flash if you can do one set. One, two, three, four. One, nope. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. The third one goes, I'm throwing it to Cape Town. I'm literally out of breath. It's actually a lot of exercise. And the whole three balls thing is so confusing. This is also called the flash, Josh. Whoa, I got something, I got something, I got something. Once that is easy, try going for four catches. So one more throw. Right, one, two, three, four. Okay, so says so you gotta do four, so you essentially gotta go one, two, three, four. So you'll end back with two in your right hand. I'm swimming. This is actually great uh, arm exercise. Left, right, left, right. Hoi. Oh, that was nearly a trick there, Josh. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Keep your feet planted and it's better, it's better to drop and keep good form than move around and have terrible form the entire time. Right, left, right, catch. No, right, catch. Catch, oh, catch. Damn it. Catch, catch. I can't catch this left one. Catch, I can't catch the left one. Catch, catch, no, catch. Damn it, I can't catch them. Elbows, I need like double, Side of tape. Oh. If I don't do that outside thing, that's what happens. But I feel like I'm doing it. I feel like I'm doing it. <laughs> Did you say that? It's gonna take some practice. Some people can learn in an hour, some people take weeks, months to learn three balls. It is so confusing. <laughs> I don't think I'm taking this right. Hey, 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 Have I got it? Yes, I have. Oh, I think I can juggle. <clears throat> okay, I feel like I'm ready for the next step. Okay, here's step two. Um, 
you start in the cascade, and then you go to a, a two-stage oh, oh, 720 oh, yeah. into leg weave oh. with a neck catch, finish. Get lost, Josh. Uh-uh! I'm done. Hope you enjoyed it. Much love.